Hello folks, welcome to King Video Channel. My name is Jack and today I'm going to do an um, explanation kind of a video talking about changing tubes in a shotgun to change the, um, the gauge of it. About two weeks ago I did a, a short video kind of uh, showcasing my Beretta shotgun that has a set of tubes. And gosh, I got tons of views and people were so curious about it. I said, heck, I'm going to do a long, longer video and kind of explain what it's all about. And, and, uh, and it's a fairly common uh, technology, by the way. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned and watch what I'm going to show you about changing tubes to change the gauge of a double barrel over under shotgun. So I'm out here today with my um, Beretta 687 EELL over on the shotgun and I'm going to show you guys um, it came with a set of tubes to change the gauge and so I'm going to give you a little tour of how you do that and uh, incidentally this is a nice shotgun case I, I found it's by Peak Case so if you're ever looking for a nice shotgun case especially for a set of tubes um, it's not so terribly expensive like some of them I've seen anyway so let's take a look Again, it's a Beretta EELL. Um, now the gun is ga it's, um, it's chambered in 12 gauge, of course. And by the way, this, this shotgun is, has some beautiful custom engraving by uh, a master engraver. His name is um, Gino Carney. Gino G. Gino Carney. And boy, did he do a, a beautiful job of en engraving this gun. I'll show you. The side plates are simply, simply beautiful. I hope that's focused good. And again, this is a 687 EELL over under Beretta Skeet gun that's custom engraved. Now, it comes again chambered in 12 gauge. So I'll show you what the deal is. Of course, this is the regular 12 gauge barrel. And again, the, the whole purpose of this video is to show you how you change gauges using tubes. And some people even commented that it looked dangerous to be changing gauges because they were afraid, you might be afraid to put the wrong shell in the wrong tube and so forth, but that's just not the case. Um, but here we are with it ready to go in, um, in 12 gauge, okay? So, no, well, I'm sorry, I got a set of tubes in it now. I believe these are 20 gauge tubes. So that's fine, I'll, I'll uh, show you how to remove the tubes and maybe insert another set. Um, so again, it's ready for, it's now prepared to shoot uh, 20 gauge. So, well, that's okay. Now I'll show you, um, on this particular case, the tubes are stored underneath the, the top shelf. And there's your tubes. And I'll try to move the camera and kind of show you what we got here. So there's your different tubes. Okay. Now, uh, the top set of tubes is a 20 gauge, and they're in the gun now. And then we have... Um, a set of 28 gauge and you have see this is these are by cola and this is the over for the over the upper barrel and this is marked under for the under barrel and the ejectors are built in the tubes like so so you have to only thing you have to do really when you put the tube in is line up the ejector with the native ejector on the 12 gauge barrel okay so here we go um, so what I'm going to do is show you how we um, change a set of tubes. So of course you got to disassemble the shotgun. And you take this little tool here, this tool in, of course the gun is safe, there's nothing in the, in the barrel of course. And you just take this hammer and knock the tubes down. 
and you simply pull them out. And you see, you have to line these ejectors up with the native ejector on the, on the barrel. So you just pull this out like so, okay? And then now you're at 12 gauge. It's just that simple. And these, are, these tubes are made by Kohler. Probably the most populous tube manufacturer in the United States is Briley. So if you go to Briley.com, you can see where you can buy tubes for an over and under. And a lot of times I think they actually, you have to actually send your barrel to them and they custom make them. Um, and, and, and to reverse this, um, you have to find the one that's marked under, put it in the lower barrel. It's so simple. Insert it and you line up. I hope I'm got the camera correct. Line up the um, ejector of the tube with the native or internal ejector of the uh, barrel. And there's a special tool to seat it that looks like so. You just put this in like this and you give it a little tap like this. And now we're at 20 gauge. So it's pretty doggone cool. In fact, I'm gonna leave these in because I've been shooting 20 gauge mostly. This is, of course, you check the oval and this is the upper barrel. And again, these are pretty common. They've been around for years because I was shooting skeet when I was a teenager back in the 70s. And, and I know guys had tube sets then, so. Uh, certainly nothing, nothing new about this. Have I got that right? I'm gonna go that way. And hammer it down flush, and there you go. Okay, so there's your 20 gauge tubes. And during a day of skeet shooting. Um, Especially on the day of competition, we'll change gauges and shoot separate, different gauges during the day. So I'm not, not comment about it. And you just put them together, and we are ready to shoot. Ready to go shooting some skeet. Okay. All right, folks. I just wanted to be sure and explain that. I got the camera down. I kind of low there. I'm sorry. Um, Anyway, I wanted to explain that because I had tons of questions and people asking, you know, what it was all about. Now you can, some of the real nice guns, you can buy separate barrels, but boy, does it get expensive. So the tubes are probably a little cheaper and, and lighter to carry around and so forth. Anyway, folks, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it. Go out to your local skeet range and enjoy a round of skeet. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good day.